it says the car's here, but it's just like a regular ride hole, ride hail situation where I have to walk around and figure out where it's actually stopped. Is there a reason why it stopped around the block instead of coming to where I was? Uh, sometimes you have to walk a block or a block or two. There's, there's sure one. one. Yeah. Uh, and when you edit your destination, do 560 Central Avenue. Yep. Um, and it might drop you off closer to the actual restaurant on the way back. Okay. So, gotta unlock the doors. Cool. Yep. Oh, great. So, yeah. All right. Great. Jump in. Thank you. There. Take a seat in the back and close the door. Buckle up and get ready to ride. Start your trip from the tablet in the car. All right, I'm all buckled in. Let's start the ride. Starting your trip. We record video inside the car for your safety and support. As a reminder, keep your hands and arms in the car at all times. Let's cruise. There's a button up here that I can press if I want to end the ride. The map shows me where I am. And there is no one else in this car except for me. I'm sitting in the back seat. So I don't even have an attendant in here. So we're going, going from uh, Central Park Cafe in San Francisco to the Peace Pagoda. So the last time I rode in one of these Chevy Bolts that Cruise is using for development of their AV system, it the car didn't do anything silly, but the control was pretty rough. Um, it was very herky-jerky. This was back in late 2017, so almost five years ago since the last time I rode in one of these. And that was still fairly early on in the development. And the, the, the system was just... It, it we were driving around uh, closer to the downtown financial area um, near the Embarcadero and the the car always made the right decisions but it it was kind of like as if it was a teenage driver driving very early on very inexperienced it was hitting the brakes real hard um, accelerating hard kind of jerking the steering wheel around this one is much much smoother Sitting here at a red light, waiting. So, in the car here, they've got a partition here uh, that they started using at the beginning of the uh, pandemic <clears throat> to uh, when they were still using safety drivers in here um, and uh, carrying employees. So, you know, give some little physical distancing here. And now they're, you know, they've left them in here just to keep people from reaching up and messing with the controls, I think. Nice smooth acceleration. You got two screens in the back here that show you where you are in the map. Unlike before, they don't, uh, they're not showing, uh, get, giving any indication of what the sensors, the vehicle sensors are seeing, um, which is something they've done in the past and what most other AV companies do, you know, in, in part to uh, help build trust, you know, to, to give riders, let riders see what the car is seeing. The control was pretty good there. Did a nice job on the turn. Doing a good job on the braking. So you got an infotainment system here. You got Radio, you can pick different channels, I guess. Talk radio, music. Uh, let's see. How do I go back? Hmm. Oh, trip map. Okay, there we go. 
I guess you can also play trivia. It's showtime. Trivia home. What's, what is the name of the paint color on the Golden Gate Bridge? I believe that is International Orange. Which of these characters has its own statue? Uh, pretty sure it's not Rocky or Yoda. Actually, it might be Yoda. Let's try Yoda. Since Industrial Light and Magic, yep, okay. Lucas Arts and the Presidio. All right, let's go back to the trip map. One, one minor detail here, if you are in San Francisco and you want to ride, take a ride with Cruz, um, you have to uh, download the Cruise app, which unfortunately at this time is only available for iOS. There is no Android version. There's apparently an Android version coming soon, but it's not here yet. Um, and then once you download the Cruise app, uh, they're covering right now about 30% of the city uh, in the north, northern and western side of the city. Uh, and uh, you have to sign up and you'll go on a waiting list um, there they won't say how many people have been allowed in yet um, but eventually when you come off the when you get your it re reach your turn it will uh, they'll send you a code to activate the service and then you can you can use the service and uh, you can pay for it just like you would for a taxi or a ride hail Apparently, the, the most number of concurrent rides that they've done simultaneously so far is about 70 at one time. 70 vehicles carrying paying passengers at one time. And for the time being, the service is only available between 10 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. Um, and most of the areas where they're covering, there's, you know, during the night, there's not a huge amount of traffic. But, okay, nice job. The car that pulled over here to park and the, the cruise vehicle stopped and waited to make sure the car door didn't open I guess anyway um, yesterday Kyle Vogt the CEO and co-founder of cruise announced that uh, in the next 90 days they will be um, expanding the driverless ride hail service to there's another cruise vehicle going in the opposite direction uh, they'll be expanding the service to Phoenix and Austin, Texas. Um, and uh, then at some point after that, um, they will uh, uh, expand, hopefully expand to other cities. They won't tell us exactly where in Phoenix or where in Austin. Uh, that'll be a surprise, I guess. But uh, it's, it's going to be expanding. So this ride has been pretty uneventful. Um, the car hasn't done anything weird. Uh, this is interesting here. So there's there's a intersection up here, red light. Um, but the car has stopped back here. There's an entrance to a parking garage here. And so the car has left a gap here, I guess, if anybody's coming in or out of the parking garage so that cars can get in or out rather than pulling right up behind the car in front. So here's an example. There's a car coming out. We're arriving soon. Okay. Please close the windows and start collecting your things. So we're going to edit our destination here, and we're going to pick
have any potential there, have you? We've arrived. You can unbuckle your seatbelt now. As you exit on the sidewalk side, watch out for bikes and cars, and make sure you've got all your things. Thanks for riding with Cruz. Alright, so since Destination I, updated. So since I updated the destination, it's not actually going to stop here. It's going to take, take us back to where we started. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. Um, and hopefully nothing else exciting will happen. But uh, So this is, this is the first ride in a driverless cruise autonomous vehicle around San Francisco.